Why hello you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another first time reaction video I asked all of you for some crazy amazing and epic video game OST some OSTs that are remain hidden from me And I haven't reacted to yet on this channel and easily the most requested from all of you was Bloodborne Everyone told me I need to react to the music from Bloodborne apparently this music's insane And I've never actually played Bloodborne either so this is gonna be a genuine first time reaction to the songs and also the game in a whole I've never played Blood Bloodborne I've always been terrified about playing it because I've heard how hard it is and I don't like playing rage games I, I try and avoid them as best I can so I'm gonna keep this intro short make sure you guys like make sure you guys subscribe But more importantly fill out that comment section with recommendations and let's jump into my first time of reaction to Bloodborne's OST Ludwig Is Bloodborne like when did Bloodborne come out? Does anyone know? Like, I, like I'm saying, does anyone know? Um, you guys know, <laughs> so I don't know why I'm asking that question. But for me, who doesn't know, how old is Bloodborne? Because my thinking is already along the lines of all the video game soundtracks I've reacted to recently have had so much effort poured into the creation of them. Like, this is a an orchestral performance. This isn't what I expected. I expected like just a band, a band in a recording studio, you know, some sort of like metal band or something like that. This is a full fucking 100 member orchestral performance with, with fit with choir as well. It's kind of terrifying. Is this a boss thing? Is that is that what this is? Is Ludwig a boss? Right, right. Just make mixing of the YouTube streamer guy, um, because this feels like a boss. Like like I'm get I'm guessing that's what it is, right? Bloodborne, as far as I know from my outsider's perspective of the game, it's like Dark Souls esque, where you you get hit like two times, you die, or sometimes one time, right? And I I've never ever played one of those games in my life because I hate that idea. <laughs> I hate that idea so much. Um, but I've heard it's very good, right? Um, so that's my immediate guess and then I'm guessing these are like boss themes or is this just like a walking around like are you just wandering around somewhere and this is playing or do you walk in a room and this dude is sitting on a chair in front of you with his fucking sword and this starts playing because I can tell you right now if that happens I'm turning around I this this is terrifying this OST epic but terrifying it has this whole element of like horror to it It's so well done. Like the violin, the drums, the choir. The cello now. Video games start getting budgets that like to, to make songs like this. Like when did they? When did they? When did it go from like heavy metal, just ten, f five dudes in a room, drum, bass, guitar, singer, whatever, right? When did it go from that 
to, no, nope, that's not good enough anymore. We need a hundred people at every instrument you can possibly think of. That's the only correct way to make video game soundtracks. When did it change? When did it become this epic? When, what happened? This is nuts. This is actually insane. I was not expecting this at all. the horns come in, it is a full orchestral piece. Is it weird that this song is making me never want to play Bloodborne ever? Because I'm, I, I was already terrified to play this game, and this song is, is literally just, it's hammer in the nail for me. Like this song is like never playing Bloodborne even more, um, just because of how absolutely fucking freaky and intense this is. Whatever, whatever happens when this is playing, I don't, I don't even if, even if I'm walking through a village, my character is dying. All right, there's no way I'm surviving when this song plays. Even if it's like buy these apples, this plays somehow I'm fucking up and dying. It's just incredible, by the way. Like, I know I'm, I'm joking around a little bit, but this is incredible. It's a master. right now if i was playing this game right now what like i said i've never played bloodborne before i don't know what the hell's happening when this is playing and i i said I, I was dead if somehow i survived previously when this shit kicks in now i'm dead all right <laughs> this this is insane man this is nothing what i expected at all people were like ah oh, you should definitely we checked out the portal one and we're like oh check out bloodborne and i was like okay let's check out bloodborne the, you guys are all over the place man you guys are like we went from portal to this this is so different! <laughs> this is so fucking different! This could not, not be Bubba from Portal. This is so dark. And this is a masterpiece. This is absolutely mind. head I'm just imagining like some dude with a sword just like jumping everywhere and there's just this this huge monster just smashing the shit out of the ground and just attack after attack after attack and it's just jump 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 that's like that's what this music is is like in like embodying for me that's what I'm imagining based on the soundtrack that is going on here it is it just feels so unbelievably epic and you are fighting the most impossible <laughs> monster you could ever fight that's what this music feels like to me Every, every, every simple clash is like another attack. And now you'll be like levitated, force choked by Darth Vader or something. Oh my god. Oh my god, it just keeps going.
can say with complete confidence and certainty, this is one of the most epic video game OSTs I've heard, by the way. It is, this is, and I've said it multiple times throughout this reaction, I'm going to say it again, this is, this can only be called a masterpiece, right? It's perfect. You don't expect to hear this in a video game. You expect to get your flipping weird binoculars and your, I don't know, coat with bow tie, go down to the London Symphony Orchestra and see this on stage. That, that's what this is. This is not a video game OST. This is a full fucking... A full fucking orchestra, a full London Symphony Orchestra performance. That's what this is. This is crazy. It is, it is incredible. It is terrifyingly incredible. I'm guessing it's like boss loop. Is that is that what that ending was there? Is it is it like um, if you're still uh, unlucky enough to be fighting the boss when this happens, and then uh, <laughs> then it loops back around? I cannot imagine. The thing with Dark Souls, right? Dark Souls, Bloodborne, all those games. Isn't Elden Ring another one, right? And the thing with these kind of games is, um, I what would drive me crazy. It's the same reason I never played Oni Up. Um, Luckily, we didn't used to play video games on Twitch, so I never had a reason to try out these games. However, now we do play games on Twitch. I'm kind of terrified that when a new game comes around, people are going to want me to play it. Um, so uh, I may have shot myself in the foot there a little bit. But we'll see. I've never played like a rage-inducing game. I don't like the idea of one. I, 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 I like watching people play them and losing their minds. Everyone does. I don't want to personally play one. Because in my head... This is one of the most epic damn boss themes, and that's that's what I'm seeing it as a boss theme in my I, I've ever heard, right? And I have this image of playing this and dodging and jumping and fighting, and the six minutes is running up, and the song's about to loop, and the boss's health is going down, and all of a sudden slap, and I'm dead. That would drive me absolutely insane. The fact that I've just like come so close and had to restart and start from the beginning drives me crazy. What drives me more crazy is the sort of like it's like a, a like low life or one life kind of system, right? I don't mind it too much if you just walk in a room and fight the boss, die, and then get to fight the boss again, right? That's fine, because you can learn and, and, and get better, right? Um, and it's just like any other fight at the end of the day than in any other video game, right? But isn't Bloodborne more unforgiving than that? <laughs> like, if you die against the boss, do you have to restart the whole level again or something? Like, what what uh, what is the whole system? And can't you just die at nothing? Like, can't you just pop out the ground, die, and then, and then how far back does it send you? It's, it reminds me of, like, what's that old school game? It's, oh, I, I can't remember the name of it. Um, but you had to like learn all the moves. There was no controls or instructions or anything like that. The game was just released and you had to learn all the moves and learn the systems. It was like playing a movie. You had to make a character, you press buttons to make your character jump to the side or something like that, right? Quite a famous game. That's what Bloodborne in my head is going to be like. It's one of these games where, uh, the more you play and the more you, you learn, the more you learn the system and the format and how to do these things. That's what it feels like. That's what I'm getting from this. I may be completely wrong, but that's what it feels like. In terms of the OST... But don't ever, don't look, all right, uh, if we grow more on Twitch and people want games, maybe we'll play some of these games, so do me a favor, don't follow me on Twitch, but if you do want to, link in the description, I don't want to play these games, um, this would, this would, you, you'd see a man break down on stream, um, in terms of the music, this is one of the best OSTs I've ever heard, I did not expect this, especially coming out of the Portal video we recorded a reaction to, I did not expect to then go into Bloodborne, and it's been one of the most epic things I've ever heard in my damn life, because it is. It doesn't feel like a video game soundtrack at all. It really does feel like something you would only see at the opera. You just imagine Liberace standing there on stage performing while this is going off in the background. That's what it feels like. This is an epic. This is this is incredible and easily one of the best video game OSTs I've heard. It is amazing. You guys have asked me to check out the, um, the other Bloodborne famous OST, so we're going to do that one as well. And you guys have asked me to check out uh, Silver for Monsters from Witcher. So we're going to do that one as well. If there's any other video game soundtracks you want me to react to, because I'm new to the world of video game music, fire on my way. I always read the comments. I see what comments have been the most upvoted, what you guys request the most. And that is what we react to on this channel. So let me know in that comment section down below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
I'm terrified that one day I'm going to have to play this game. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I love all of you. Have an awesome day. Like the video, subscribe, and as always, my friends, you will see you in the next one.